Hi, everybody. Welcome to Shiko Math Practice Lab, Learning Through Practice. So for this video, we're going to continue to talk about the sequence and the series. This is our practice set number three. And uh, in this uh, practice set, we're going to determine, to, you know, to see if a given sequence is increasing, decreasing, or is not a monotonic sequence. And uh, also we want to take a look at how to determine if a sequence is bounded or not. Okay, so those are the problems here. So here, those are the seven problems we're going to practice in this video to talk about how do I check the increasing, decreasing, or whether it is bounded or not. And I asked uh, for my previous uh, videos, uh, and uh, it will be the best, you know, if you do those problems before you watch the video. So the, I would recommend that you pause the video and uh, try to do every one of them. And uh, when you finish, then come back here so we can go over each problem together. So you'll be able to check to see if your problems uh, you know, if your problem solutions match my solutions here. Okay, so now it will be a good time for you to pause and try to do the problem by yourself first, okay? And uh, now I'm going to the whiteboard. Okay, welcome back. I hope the, you have uh, solved all the problems and uh, find it's not too hard. So let's go over these seven problems here. So the problem A, so I want to see is uh, increasing, decreasing. So this one's here, the sequence here is a cosine n here, right? So immediately, you know the cosine, I know the cosine function is something like that. So I know this is not going to be an increasing or decreasing function, right? And uh, so like if you list a few terms here, so you can say that this is the my an, right? And then the an is the cosine n. So if you list a few terms, uh, then you will see the numbers here is 0.54 for n equal to 1, and the negative 0.42, and the negative 0.99, and da 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 da, right? So be careful in here, I'm using, you know, the, so in here, I'm using the radius here, right? So I know this sequence here is not monotonic, right? Because it's easing curve, as we see from the graphs here. But because of the cosine, is uh, we know that for the any cosine x is always uh, between the negative one and the ones here. So I know this sequence is what? So this sequence is bounded, right? So this sequence is bounded. So that means I can put this as a cosine n is equal to the negative one and one for all the n's here, all right? Okay, so now the second one, see, so this one is a pretty easy one. So the Second one here is we talk about if my a n is defined by the two n plus three. So the first thing here, let's see, you know, let's compare here to see this is increasing or decreasing. So let's take a look at my a n plus one term. So the a n plus one term is really you just replace the n with n plus ones, right? So it's a two n plus one plus threes, correct? So this one will be equal to the 2n. 
no, 2n plus 2 plus 3, so it's 2n plus 5 here. So you know the 2n plus 5 compared to your original term. So your denominator is getting bigger, it's because of 2n plus 5. So I know this one's here going to be less than the 2n plus 3. So what is the 2n plus 3 is the an here. So this one is true for what? For the order n greater than equal to 1 here. So I know this one's here because an is less than a, an plus one is less than an. So I know this is increasing or decreasing. This is a decreasing functions, right? So this is a decreasing sequences here. And uh, because this is a decreasing here, so that means a1 will be the biggest one, correct? So what is the a1 here? a1 is 1 over 2 plus 3, so it's 1 fifth, right? So this is the biggest one. Then I will see, I will take a look, what is the n approach to infinity to a n? So that means this is the n approach to infinity. This is 1 over 2n plus 3. So this one become to 0, right? So now I know this is what? This is bounded, right? So this is a bounded. So how do I write it here? So I know it's an an because the largest one, remember here, this is the largest one because it's decreasing here, right? So this sequence is bounded by negative one, I'm sorry, the one fifth here. Now, because it's approached to zero, so the lower bound is also bounded by zeros here, right? So as you can see, I do not have equal signs here because it's approach to zero, so it's bounded by. So it's not going to equal to zeros here, all right? So let's take a look at part C here. So the part C, this is the one, the an is equal to n to the negative one to the as powers here. So for this ones here, so you know if you kind of write it out, uh, so this one when the n equal to one, so you will have like a negative one, n equal to two is a positive two, negative three, positive four. So as you can see, this sequence is alternating, right? So it's from negative, positive, negative, positive. So we know for this is not monotonic. Okay. It's not monotonic. And uh, also, you know, the so it's not a, you know, it's not like increasing or decreasing here. So now let's take a look here. So like the limit and approach to infinity. And then the a n s here, right? So the f, you know, the if I take the absolute value of a n, so limit n approach to infinity, the a n is going to the infinities here. So the you could go to the negative infinity or positive infinity. So what happens here? This sequence is bounded or not? This sequence is not bounded, right? So this is not monotonic and not bounded. Okay, let's take a look at the, let's go to the um, next page here, okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the next page here. If I want to see the a n, this is a one minus n, this is a two plus n here. And uh, now let's compare to the n plus one here. So the n plus one, this will be one minus n plus ones, right? So this is one minus n plus ones here, and this is the two, what plus n plus ones here, right? Okay. So this is two plus n plus one. So if you simplify this a little bit, this one's one and one, so this is negative n here, right? So this is two plus, I'm sorry, so it's a three plus. So here, this one's here will be n plus what? Plus three is here. So if you just buy eyeball, you know the denominators here, right? So the denominator, 
So one minus the n, right, is greater than negative n. So by just compared to the denominator, by just denominator, a n is greater than a n plus one, right? Now, if you just compare to the numerator, uh, I'm sorry, this is numerator, right? I just compare the numerator. So if you just compare to the denominator, so this is a two plus n, and uh, this is a two plus n plus, so it's a three plus, uh, so this is uh, three plus, uh, n plus threes, right? So if you just compare the denominator, the two plus n going to be less than n plus three. But since this is in the denominator, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the value. So it's a n is still greater than a n plus one. So that's why if you combine, the, because the, these two, then I can say that, hey, the a n is greater than a n plus one see here, because the numerator greater than, and the numerator, if you only compare the numerator, a n is greater than a n plus one. If you only compare the denominator, a n is greater than a n plus one. So overall, a n is greater than a n plus one, see here. But uh, this is just like a quick, easy way to look at. But how do you prove it, right? So the way you prove it uh, you know, is a more mathematical way to show it. You can say this is one minus n is two n. You know, yes, this is going to be greater than negative n, and this is n plus three. So what I can do is here, I say, hey, I can do a cross product here, right? So I can do a cross product and then here, but these terms here, this will be negative n squared, and the 3n positive, so it's minus 2n and plus 3. All right, then this cross product will be negative n squared minus 2n. All right, so is this is the one going to be greater than? Yes, because these two are the same. So this one has a, you know, the positive. So this is the truth, right? So that is why you can. So the less is the why you can prove uh, a n, you know, so this is true, right? So it's a n greater than a n plus one for all the n. So what type of the sequence is this one? This is decreasing, right? So this is a decreasing sequence here because this is decreasing. So the largest number is what? Largest value is a1. So what is a1 see here? It's one minus one, two plus one, right? So it's zero. So I know the largest one is a1, so I'm going to bound it by zero. Now let's take a look, where is this limit going to go to? So I will take a look at the limit, one minus n, two plus n, to see where is this one going to see here. So now, like in here, we did uh, several times in our previous practice sections here, you can divide by n. So this will be, so this will be one over n minus one, two of the n plus one, right? Now, when the n approach to zero, infinity, this number approach to zero, this number approach to zero. So what is the whole limit approach to? The whole limit approach to negative one. So I know this sequence is bounded, right? Bounded by what, right? So I know that this sequence is bounded by, okay, so the smallest one, the largest one is zero. So this is zero. And then the limit is negative one here, right? As always, you see, I do not have equal signs here because this is a limit here. Okay, that's a lot of fun to do this. Let's, okay, let's take a look. Uh, the next one is the problem is here. So we have a n is equal to two plus n to the negative one n here. Okay, so now let's take a look here. For this province here, let's just try to write it out to see what I have here. So when n is equal to one, 
So it's negative one, two minus negative, so it's one, right? So when n is equal to two, so this one will be two plus one over two. So it's a two and a one half. When n equal to three, this will be the negative one third. So this will be one, what? One of two thirds, right? Okay, let's take a look at when n equal to four, so it's a two plus one fourth, right? So this is a two of the one fourth here. So da 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 da. So this is my sequence here. So as you can see, this sequence go up and down and up, right? So I'm sure this sequence is not monotonic. Okay, so this is not monotonic because uh, this is a go up and down, up and down, right? But as you see here, so what will be, you know, like in here, when you start to add, uh, you know, these terms here, right? So negative one to the nth powers, right? So when the n get bigger and bigger, right? It always will less than one half. So what is my largest values here? So this one here is interesting. So what is the largest values here? Is a two and one half. So it's a five over two. Correct? It's here. Because there's no other value will be bigger than that. Right? Okay. And then, you know, how do I find the smallest values here? The smallest value, you can say here, yes, if I let the limit n approach to infinity, this is 2 plus n to the negative 1n. So the limit n approach to infinity, this is 2 here. But if you look at your sequence, you know the, <coughs> excuse me. So you find out when a is equal to one, it's not equal to, him. so the limit of going to infinity is not to give you the smallest number because it's not a monotonic. So you will see the smallest number is ones here, right? So now that's why these ones here, I can say my sequence is bounded by the five half and the one. Be very careful here. Look what I have here. I have equal sign because this is the sequence value happens here. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the next problems here. Um, maybe I will do the next pages here. So we have uh, plenty of space. This is a problem number F here. All right. So the problem number F is AN to the what, 3 minus 2n e to the negative n. So this will be 3 minus 2n e to the n here. So I want to see this is the increasing or decreasing function. So one way you can do it, let's try to set the functions here. So this is another technique that kind of use calculus uh, we learned before. So let's say this is a 2x ex here, right? So if I take the first derivative, so if I take uh, the first derivative here, so this will be, so this will be the e to the x, right? So this will be the 2, so it's a negative 2, the e to the x, so this e x square. And uh, then minus the, you know, minus the negative 2x, the e what? e x here. Right? Okay, did I, did I get this one correctly? Right, so it's e x. And uh, so if you simplify this is a little bit, so you will get a, this is the, so this is e x, right? So this is a minus two. So if I take the minus out, uh, don't worry about the minus here. So it's a two, you take the derivative of the first one is one. So it's e x minus, uh, uh, okay, so here take the two out. So it's a minus two x e x. Okay, so now 
and you simplify it, you can simplify this one. So you can factor the EX out, uh, right? So you can factor the EX out. So this is EX squared. So you can factor the two, the EX, and then here, this will be what? Y minus X is here, right? So now you can cancel the one of the EX. So here, you can simplify this is to the two, to the e to the negative x, x minus one here. So now I know when the x greater than equal greater than one here. So what happens here? So f prime x is always greater than zero, right? So f prime x is always greater than zero. So what's that mean? If f prime x greater than zero, that means what? That means f of x is uh, what type of function? Increasing, right? So that's what we learned in the calculus one when you take the derivative test, right? Okay, so because this one's here, so I know, so I know the, my ans here is what? Is increasing. Is the increasing function. If this is the increasing functions here, so the smallest one, smallest one will be what? Will be when a one, right? Because it's continue going up. So will be a one. So the a one is three minus two and uh, e to the negative one. So if you put it into your calculator, we we'll give you some number close to the 2.26. Okay, now because it's increasing, let's take a look of when the limit n approach to infinity. What is this one here? So this is minus 2n to the e to the what? 2n and n here, right? So three is just, uh, you know, the constants. So as a matter, n minus n, and approach to infinity, this is true n e n. So anybody remember what is the technique we use in a previous practice? So we say less the f of x is equal to the two x e to the x. So the limit x approach to infinity f of x, you will see these ones here become infinity over infinities, right? So what do we need to do here? Because this one we cannot determine. So I need to use local Pato's rule. So I will take the x approach to infinity, take a look at the, um, I'm going to take a look at the, the derivative. So it's a limit to x approach infinity, the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of denominator. So this is a two and the ex. Now, when x approach to infinity, this number going to be infinity, so the whole thing will be zeros, right? So that's why I know these numbers here are going to approach to what? Approach to zero. So is this sequence is bounded? Yes, right? So this is a bounded. So this sequence is a bounded by what? The blows here, right? So a n is bounded by two point two six, right? And uh, so this is the increasing, right? So the this one's here. Up bound is what? Up bound is here, right? So it's three minus zeros, right? So this is three. So up bound is what? It's three, right? And uh, so here I don't have an equal sign because, you know, the idea is a limit so here. So this is problem is a very interesting problem and different ones here is increasing, but the up bound is bounded here. Okay, so now let's take a look at part G here. And then we'll finish this practice. It's a pretty short practice here. Okay, so this is AN, right? So the an is equal to n cubed minus 3n plus 3. Okay, so for this one here, right? I want to see is increasing or decreasing. So I'm using the same techniques. I find a function, so it's x cubed minus 3x plus 3. So I take the first derivative. I use the first derivative test. 
So x cubed, the first derivative is 3x squared minus 3. Now I can factor this one out. This is x squared minus 1, right? And then in here, this will be 3, the x minus 1, x plus 1. So I know when x is greater than 1, what happens here, the f prime x is greater than zero, right? I don't need to worry about the negative one because we are talking about a series, a sequence. I cannot have n is equal to negative one. So I know, so this is here, so that this is a positive here. So if f prime x, so back to your calculus, if the first derivative is greater than zero, what happens here? That means f of x is what type of quant function? is the increasing function, right? So if increasing, so what if it's increasing, so what is the smallest value? The smallest value will be a one, right? So if you do a one, so the a one will be one to the cube minus three times one plus three, so this is one. So this function is, be, you know, it's bounded below by one, by one, but if you let the limit n approach to infinity, the a n, so this is n cubed plus, I'm sorry, this is n cubed minus, that's right, minus 3 n plus three. So it will be equal to infinity, so going to the infinity. So I know this sequence is increasing function, but it's not bounded. Or you can say this sequence is bounded be below. That means that the sequences here will be started from one to infinity, right? So bounded below, but in general, we said it's not bounded. When it's all bounded, that means we have like a both up and the lower limits here. Okay, so this section is a pretty easy section. Basically, you check the, um, your sequence is increasing, decreasing, or it's not a monotonic and then how to find the bound. So we, um, those few problems demonstrate a couple different skills. You can find increasing or decreasing. You can use the first derivative test to see is increasing function or decreasing functions, right? And also then you can use an plus one compared to the an, you know, to see they are increasing or decreasing. Okay, so uh, this will be a simple, uh, practice here. So we kind of finish the sequence practice. Our next video, we'll start to talk about the series. And so that will be very excited to do it. So make sure you get the those three practice done. And because when we talk about the series, we're going to use a lot of the sequence concepts, right? So what is the last things you need to remember? Practice, 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 right? practice, that's the key factor to get a better in the math. Okay, nice to talk to you and looking forward to talk to you in our next videos here. Bye.